It's been an honour and a privilege to be a part of this song. Um, I absolutely love that it's a call to worship and that is my heart. I love that Big Ben is calling the nation to worship and um, yeah, that is exactly what's on my heart. That is my prayer that this nation will wake up again to um, worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, to um, pray and worship King of Glory come in, um, that his kingdom will rule and reign again in this nation. And we so need that, we're desperate for that in these times. And so that's what I love about it the most. What's so important to me about all through this hour is there's this beautiful line about um, that Jesus reigns, that all the world shall know that Jesus reigns. And uh, for me, that's just absolutely top of my agenda <laughs> for my life, um, to facilitate encounters with Jesus. Uh, why that's important to me, um, he is absolutely everything to me. For me, it's not he's um, not just this random God that's far away. He is a best friend, he's a confidant, he is um, somebody that can comfort um, when times are hard. He's someone that heals supernaturally, physically. I've experienced that so many times. I've experienced him when my mind is cluttered and even suffering with anxiety and things. I've experienced him and his presence just order my thoughts. I've experienced him break through in supernatural ways, tiny things in my life, in huge things in my life. I've experienced provision like nothing before. This is King Jesus who I want to reign in this nation and that is why I love that song. So all through this hour, I love that it's a call to worship. That's what Big Ben's about. It's what the bells are around at the call of worship. And why that's so important to me is I've seen again in my life and in the lives of hundreds of people around me over the years, that when we engage in worship, when we engage in worshiping Jesus and declaring him Lord and fixing our eyes on him, forgetting about things around us, but just saying, okay, God, this is why I'm alive. I'm here to worship you, to honor you, to give you the glory, to meet with you, to be in communion with you, to walk with you day in, day out. That is what we're all created to. And when we are aligned with that, when we are giving him the glory, giving him the attention, um, then it says that he inhabits the praises of his people. And when Jesus inhabits the praises of his people, his presence is amazing. <laughs> um, I love it when you feel the presence of God. I believe he's everywhere, but when we focus on him, when we give him that space, and when we facilitate the encounter with other people around us with Jesus, uh, there's something of a corporate, incredible thing that happens, um, there's a movement really. Uh, where um, his presence seems stronger and um, just creates the atmosphere around um, the, kingdom of, the kingdom of heaven, it's what heaven's about. Um, and that's when we see incredible kingdom of heaven, um, things come like no tears, no suffering, no pain, no sickness again, and that's what we're really wanting on the earth. So the, one of the reasons um, why I love all through this hour and that call to worship is when people rise up um, in worship and when there's a load of us that are worshipping together that is when we can open the doors long enough wide enough that the king of glory can come in and one of the things on, our, on my heart and I believe that it's um, one of the calls for everyone that knows Jesus here on this earth is to open the door uh, long enough, wide enough. Um, I love Psalm 24, it says, uh, fling wide your gates, open the king, open up the gates, fling wide the doors, that the king of glory might come in. And again, a sense that Jesus is everywhere and he's around us, around us all the time. But when we open the doors um, in prayer and in worship, there's a sense where he is welcomed in with his presence and everything wonderful that comes with who he is when he just comes in incredible Shekinah glory moments.